Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Stunticon Motormaster. This is, well, it's a truck. And as you can see, we're supposed to compete with Optimus Prime, but I have him in scale, and as you can see, he's way underpowered. Because this is a deluxe figure, not the huge monstrosity that Optimus Prime should have been. So, can you imagine if he was? Well, anyways, here he is. He rolls really well. The cab doesn't swivel, which is a big minus. Only six of the wheels rotate because these little two wheels right here are just for display. Yeah, these are the back four and these two. So, basic cab. I don't have it fully transformed because I have little stress marks over here. And he has this other scramble mode or whatever docking mode or something. So, it is what it is. But I do like the striking use of purple, black, and gray. It just goes well with this motif. Okay looking figure, so I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Because yeah, the guy is a brick. There's no doubt about it. So let's get him in his alt mode, which is kind of weird. And basically the arms fall down. And I'm going to show you what I'm saying. I'm getting stress marks right there, and I don't want to pop that out. So, yeah, it's not the easiest thing to pop out. Yeah. And basically, that's it. Next thing you know, there is his scramble mode. So now if you the little repair bay, if you wanted to do that, I want something with striking colors. Let's make it oh, drag strip because he has a beautiful, yeah, there you go. Yeah, not much there. All right, so for transformation, basically what we're going to do from this scramble mode, I'll get this, his legs just pop apart. Oh yeah, split the cab apart, which is, I like the detailing on the cab, one thing I need to mention. And this thing just rotates up, so, and that pops into there. See these little tabs? This tab right there pops into there. Right, as you can see, this portion over here will form the chest. Okay. I'm going to... I really hate this. Rotate the arms down. And, you know, I gotta be careful. Because for an old toy, gosh, I feel like I'm gonna break this every time I do that. Okay, I'm gonna leave that out because, quite frankly, there. Gosh. Yeah, that's how painful that is. Whew. I have to take a deep breath just to do that. And there he is in all his ugly brick-like glory with roller skates. And there we go. When I said he was a brick, he is a brick. Size comparison wise, there he is. He's a deluxe class figure, only he is a freaking brick. But he has a ton of accessories. So, there you go. A ton. And I mean, I got a chest plate, waist piece, and the little roller thing over here does actually roll. So you got that for what it's worth. There's a humongous gun. Menasaur's weapons here. Foot plate, two fifths. Menasaur's head. Yeah, I like that actually. If I can focus, focus. There you go. Two feet and a, whatchamacallit. So let's go arm him up. And yeah, you have these pathetic little pegs. Uh, yeah, a brick. Even for these standards, I can't give them a good grade. Four out of 10 for this G1. I mean, it, you got these weird hip rotations, and that's about it. Even the head is not very well painted. So, yeah. But, oh well, what can you do? Well, that's it for him. We'll go on to part three where we combine everybody. All right, I'll catch you all next time.